Oh, hello. I'm in the chair first. Aircon Rod. Welcome to the Sky Podcast. You know what? I remember when we were dating, like, I think one or two years pa lang, and somebody asked you, like, in some interview, nakita mo na ba si Chris Magalit or something? And then you, you said something along the lines of only when it's hot. Yep. <laughs> only when he's, it's hot and she's hungry. Yeah. Yep. Hungry and hot, hot hungry. <laughs> but the uh, <laughs> Jeanette Jackson. My Jeanette, yeah. I don't know why. My body can't regulate temperature. It's so weird. Mm. When you were younger. Yes. Oh, well, no, no, no. When when you were younger, do you use to sing or dance? Did you I, use yeah, to I used sing? to dance a lot. Singing, um, when I was really young, like five, six, seven, my mom enrolled me in this like, arts magnate like this um sing and dance kind of program for kids so i sang but i think my mom realized then and there that i did not have the talent because she never brought it up ever again (laughs) (laughs) after our recital that was it the end of my singing career why do you ask no because whenever we were when we were growing up what do you mean sa life namin like singing and dancing like performing like performing. Why? Um the the closest I got was piano lessons, which I hated. Mother, if you're listening. <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> Please do not force Scott to learn the piano love. <laughs> <laughs> of course I won't. But why though? Like wh- for me, dance was such a big part of my childhood. Mm. Like perfor- I loved performing. And I can't imagine why it wasn't part of yours. I guess kanya kanya lang. La- oh no, very engineer family. <laughs> ah. I Maybe see. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You're always building, playing outside, ganyan, no? Oh, or iba lang talaga yung hilig ng family. Right. right. Yeah. Um, was there any time where na magkasama tayo and parang uy ang awkward ni Slater hindi marunong magdance? Uh, yeah. Sometimes really? when we go to like the club or whatever, but only because you told me beforehand how awkward you were. So then I noticed when I danced. Yeah, yeah, but if you didn't tell me, like, I wouldn't have paid attention to it. I think because you're so, like, aware of that. Yeah. Parang you're self-conscious. Yeah. And you know about this self-conscious thing, and then, parang, okay, don't be self-conscious. And then, you think, <laughs> don't be self-conscious, just relax, just relax. <laughs> then you're dancing, you're, you're dancing. And then, parang, oh, it's like a vicious cycle na, okay, okay, people are not looking. Okay, just relax, just relax. <laughs> are you serious? You think? That you're yeah. so cute. Ganyan, ba? Ganyan naman talaga tayo pag self-conscious tayo, Aww. di ba? Yun nga eh, self-conscious. That's so, so adorable. Uh, uh, ang ginagawa ko na lang is, I drink more. So you'll be forced to loosen up. Oh, uh, nagto-turn off yung brain. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do notice that sometimes in the club. Mm. It's cute though. I mean, you know, guys... Walang perfect na tao. So. It's cute because we were dating and you liked me. And I still like you. You're still cute. Mm. <laughs> what were you like when you were in high school, love? Um, what was I like? Yeah. Uh, I like to dance a lot. I like to talk a lot. I don't know. I was maarte. Why do you ask? How about you? I want to know more about your high school days. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, parang I feel like it's not something that we have talked about in depth. Yeah, because we met later in life and high school was a long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Were you one of the popular kids? Um, I wouldn't say so, but I also wouldn't say that I wasn't because like, I performed a lot in school. Mm. So... I was always out there, but I don't think I was popular. Like, you know, there's always a group, right? Na sila yung sikat. Sila yung maingay, sila oh. yung... Ang daming I don't know. crush I sa kanila. I wasn't part of the maingay group, but I was parang my group of friends, and dami naming friends outside of school. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't think it was po- I was popular. Nor me. Nor me, girl. Uh, hindi pa ka, the Chris Uy, ultra influencer, vlogger, <laughs> slash. No, I was kind of like, you know how when you go to parties, um, there are some people who just kind of see the crowd and then they're just like talking to her. Like Miggy, you know? Oh, like yeah. Miggy. Like he's just Miggy comfortable with Miggy. everyone. He can sing in front of everyone, dance in front of everyone, and it's no problem. But me, parang, I can, but when I'm in a circle of friends, like to the general public, I can't. That's my level of... 
like introvert extrovert that's how it goes how about you uh, I, I think i was super introverted really i was very much a nerd i spent my recess and lunch time to library alone uh a lot of the time when i was starting to go and not by like because i didn't have friends i just liked it i oh. read the encyclopedia yung mga pambata na encyclopedia oh yeah i used to do that also that's all i did like i learn about mga Elephants or whatever. You're so cute. Nerd talaga ako, no? Yeah. You <laughs> You're still researching up to this day. Yeah. <laughs> I think, <laughs> Hindi yeah. ka pa tapos. From childhood to now, research. Yeah, timing. So, I, I grew up like super nerdy. And then, mga third year high school, uh, parang I started going out with my mga kabarkada. And yung mga kabarkada ko, for some reason, were the cool kids. Okay. So ako yung mga, ako yung parang the nerd of the group na ikaw tinuturuan yung, nila ng mga kalokohan. Ikaw yung nagbibigay ng answer. Ako din. <laughs> <laughs> actually, ako din. Okay. Yeah, so they, they actually helped me loosen up, explore the world and right. stuff. I bet if somebody like knew you from high school as that nerdy kid and then seeing you now, how you gain so much confidence now, how you have a YouTube channel, how you have a podcast, mm. parang, whoa, this guy was so different in high school. Yeah, but I feel like it's something learned. The extrovertness in me is something learned. I'm mm -hmm. naturally an introvert. Right. And then um, whenever I'm stressed out, I usually just want to be with myself. Mm -hmm. Hindi kagaya ng extroverts that they want to be with other people. Right. So, yeah. I, I think even if you're an introvert, pwede kang maging extrovert just by willing it. Like practicing it. Practicing, practicing talking. Like, even up till now, I have like certain awkwardness na nakikita ko. But you just push through it. Push through it lang. Practice, practice, yeah. practice. I think a lot of the times we're so self-conscious but it's always all in our heads. You know what I mean? Like, for example, you were mentioning earlier that you were dancing in the club. You were so self-conscious. Mm. I don't know if that's part of being an introvert or whatever, if you're mm. just shy in front of other people. But I feel like sometimes that self-consciousness mm. is, we create it ourselves in our brain and nobody else is thinking that. Like, mm. you know, I, like for example, when we were dating and you were so awkward in the club dancing, I'm probably the person who would look at you the most that night because mm. we're dating and I, you yeah. know, was be kind of, I'm the number one girl who will notice you that night. But I didn't notice a thing. Because we look at ourselves more harshly. Yeah. When we, we look really at the do. mirror, nakikita natin lahat ng mga imperfections natin, like mga acne natin, we are our blackheads. worst critics. Uh oh. And I feel like it's something to do with ego. Mm hmm. Like, it's a pride thing, although it doesn't show. Parang, uh, I want to be perfect because uh, I, I can't be judged. Or I want to be super nice all the time because so that other people will like me. So it's an ego thing instead of actually being nice. Right, I guess. But I don't think it's just purely an ego thing. Like, I think a lot of it has to do with social acceptance. Uh, well, now that you mentioned it, parang we were trained from the very beginning to be super humble. My dad wanted us to be always okay. humble, never showing off what we had. Or, okay. And that became actually some, some sort of a stumbling block because I took it to the extreme. Like, parang ayo ko na mag market ng masyado ng sarili ko or even my products when. I was selling things. I would say, oh, let the product speak for itself. Marketing is pag nagmamayabang ka na sa product mo. Oh, so you didn't believe in the power of marketing? Because I felt like it was too out showy. there, too showy. Right, right, right. I understand. Yeah. And what really changed my mind about it is being in showbiz. Like it's Where okay you have to, put to yourself accept. Out there. Yeah, it's okay right. to accept who you are. Uh, all your eccentricities, all your faults, I'm like this. You know what? I completely agree. And I super relate because I remember when we got married, mm. um, I felt so self-conscious when we had a reception. Like, we had our first dance, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm a dancer. I love performing in front of people. But I just, in my mind that night of our wedding, parang, oh my God, there are 600 
people here, most of them aunties and uncles that I've never met in my life. Yeah. And like your side of the family, they're all looking at me, they're judging me. I was actually shocked that you had that reaction. Yeah, I was so like, I'm so confident, I'm outspoken mm. and everything. But that night, I was just like, I don't want people to look at me. And it's so funny because that's our wedding night. Uh oh, naalala ko, naalala ko, we had a list to cell phone. A list of what? A list of things to talk about and people to think. <laughs> and for some reason, no matter how much I tried to get the cell phone from your hands, you wouldn't give it. No, that wasn't. Parang I wasn't even thinking about yeah, giving because it to you. I was just like in my head. Nag, parang nag semi blackout. Yeah, it was just like this is this is not like this is too many people and this is too many people that. I don't know and might judge me because they're mostly old, older than us, right? <laughs> I was just so self-conscious. Like, it's not my market. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not my No, no, I'm serious. Like, okay, we're doing this podcast right now and mm. I know everybody who's listening can relate to me, right? That's probably why they're listening. Can relate to us. Yes. Right? But if there's a, like, 60-year-old, 70-year-old Lola or auntie mm. who lives far away who doesn't know who the hell I am and then if I start being so confident and my whole life I was thought to be, like, a small Chinese quiet girl who's very traditional mm. and then suddenly like why is my nephew dating this girl who's so confident you know what I mean or marrying oh. that's what was in my head okay so parang I was kind of battling with two different people like mm. my personality and who the public or that circle expected me to be mm. that's why you didn't give me the cell phone no it's really not about the cell phone it was just kind of that night, that that moment where we had to be on stage, like the first dance, cutting of the cake, mm. like all those moments, parang there was a conflict in my head. Like, yeah. sino ba tong girl na to? But all the other moments naman, like when I was walking down the aisle, parang wala naman yun. It's easier said than done, but the more you accept yourself and the more comfortable you are with your own skin, the more the people around you are comfortable and accept you as well. Yeah. The more honest you are, the more... Um, genuine you are. Yeah, and I think like now I always, I don't always look back at that night, but sometimes I do remember that night and I always say to myself, so parang, I wonder why I was so shy that night. I wonder why I thought that people wouldn't accept me if I just was myself. Yeah, you, know you, what I you mean? think about that yeah, until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sometimes I do. Parang, I wonder, like, when I look at our wedding video, parang, why was I so shy to dance? That I love dancing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And it's pro partly why I wanted an intimate wedding. Because mm. I feel like there's so much more to share with the people that are so close to us. Mm. I guess when there's so much people, like, there's a party of people, and you're, parang, uh, retreat, retreat. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, but it's funny sometimes. Like, if you think about it, it's 600 people. Right. 600 people compared to the people that watch your YouTube videos and everything isn't a lot, deba. Right? Pero it's just something so... Like even when you're filming your YouTube video, it's more awkward because there's someone watching you there while you're doing it. You mean it's more awkward if there's someone behind In, the yeah, camera? Yeah, if, if there's someone that you don't quite know or you're not comfortable with, it's awkward. But showing it, on YouTube makes it not awkward anymore. Yeah, and that is, that is actually the beauty of the internet and why I started blogging mm. way back when, which I don't really talk about often, but like it kind of, there's a safety aspect of the internet. I know the internet is a scary place and mm. once you put something online, like that's it forever. But that safety aspect of choosing the parts that you put online, choosing it yourself mm. and then hiding behind a camera, you know what I mean? Like you put yourself out there, but you really can't, see the immediate effect of how people will take it. Yeah. You can only read about it through the comments. And Shemper, it's not like, you don't see the facial reactions of everyone right away. Yeah. Now, while you're talking, while you're dancing, you can see that parang, it doesn't affect you right away. Mm. There's a lag. Mm. That's like kind of a safety net for you to get yourself out there, put out the content that you want without being too shy to finish it. You know what I mean? I think so. I think like, uh, I feel like the internet has opened up so much. Like, given access to people that are normally shy. Yeah. Uh, Especially in the prehistoric internet, prehistoric, yeah. like, social media times. Uh oh. Yeah. Like, I remember talking to Trisha, and she was very, very introverted. She still is. And she was on Deviant Art. And she really, I remember her saying. Trisha Gossing. Gossing Tian. Okay. And I remember her saying, na, 
the internet was really like a space for her and people who were like-minded mm. na parang couldn't excel in social interactions in the outside world. Mm. Doon sila nagmi-meet online. Ah. You know what I mean? Like, it's easier for them because they're so introverted, they're so shy, but online, parang nawawala yung shyness. Oh, you can be, you can have a personality online that's loud. No, and... they were, st- she was still herself, but she found like-minded people. Mm. Diba? And then, the same hobby as her, photography or art or whatever it was. And then, wala, dun sila nag hang out. It's, it's, it's actually nice, like, when you think about it. The internet gave us a safe space before. And not a lot of people realize that, no? Because mm. <laughs> now it's all about like shouting, shouting, like me, 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 me. Ang weird ng mind ko, like, pa- naisip ko, like, even the richest people a hundred years ago, like, let's say the prince of Egypt or whatever, wala silang access to the internet. <laughs> yeah. So we have all these modern comforts. Yeah. But are we, do you think we're happier than? The, the olden times people? Um, I can't say if we're happier or not. Definitely more comfortable. Yeah. We have the comforts. But happiness, I think that is very subjective. And also because they didn't know about these comforts that we have now, comfortable na sila sa kung ano meron sila. Okay, ka- kasi kahit mayaman ka dati, or like prince ka dati, you wouldn't be able to fly anywhere around the world. You yeah. wouldn't have seen... But like, you would also have known that, oh, my airplane pala, convenient pala to, parang one, one hour lang pala. <laughs> Hindi mo alam eh. So for you, ito na yung the best. And I have it. So okay na ako. It's, it, it's comparable, no? The way we compare our happiness with others or what we have with others. Yeah. Parang that affects a lot about happiness. It's, I think it's very subjective. Like, we could say now that we're so happy, we're so fortunate to have everything that we have. Mm-hmm. But somebody looking from the outside, let's say Bill Gates level, whatever, looking at us, parang, whoa, they're so simple. <laughs> they don't have a private jet. Yeah. They don't have a yacht. What? They just use banka? I think uh, parang hindi siya measure of happiness, yung wealth. Ah, definitely. But there is a certain threshold where you must cross first. Like a certain amount of income that you must have for you to be at, for money to not matter. Yeah. That with, when it comes to your happiness. Like, I think so. You can yeah. eat well, uh, healthy, family more, you can buy medicine if someone is sick. You, you know, don't have know. to think about money running out all the time and you can cover your basic necessities. Yeah. Then you can do other things with your life. Parang yeah. your focus isn't always just on earning enough. No? Sorry, ang, ang weird ng takbo ng utak ko. It's Why? always like, when we're talking about Egypt and everything, I I used to ask myself a lot if all these innovations actually help us. All these innovations of electric cars, airplanes, internet, whatever, is doing good in the world. Um, ako, I'm very happy for all of these innovations, love. Like... I don't have to run to the middle of the square to fetch water. I can just open my faucet, my tubig now. Yeah, but does it really matter sa happiness level? Ngayon, oh, I actually oh. know the answer because I read a book. Ako, but ngayon, I'm just oh, asking for your opinion. Sobrang happy ako na may faucet tayo na may tubig. <laughs> I'm so happy na may hot water ako before I go to sleep. I read a book, fact, Factfulness. Parang, um, we, we have a tendency to say kasi, Oh, it was better dati. Dati yung government hindi as corrupt. Dati yung like, what, whatever. Diba parang that's our the normal. Grass is always greener. Yeah, on the other when side. we look back and reminisce of the past, parang, oh, it was simpler, a simpler life, but a happier life. But ito, ginawan niya ng facts of why life is better. Why even the Philippines is equivalent to a first world country dati. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, tayo. Shouldn't shouldn't be considered na a third world country according to his book. We're developing or like, parang we still have all the modern ne- uh, necessi- conveniences. Uh, conveniences of the world. So right. parang pinakita niya on the amount of children that die on a day to day basis. Yeah, we don't have to deal with hunger and stuff. Crazy so, viruses. What? Not not COVID. 
COVID not included. <laughs> yeah, like before. Now we have vaccines. We uh, have yeah, we can, we're able to produce vaccines faster. Yeah, we can give birth in hospitals. Mm. Moms don't have to die in childbirth. It's more hygienic. So many things. Yeah, it's a very, very good book. I read it because Bill Gates actually said that um, I know it's one of the best books he's read. Mm. Was it fun or was it boring? It's fun, but you have to read it bec- like parang a scientific study because there are chart charts. Yeah, Did yeah. you like read the book or listen to an audi- audiobook? You can't read the... Oh, uh, you can't listen to it. It's so not available. The yeah, the Kindle. Ooh, that means you must really like it. Because mm. I don't see you read books often. Like I'm always... Listening. Yeah, you're always listening. Yeah. I read it because wala siyang audible version and understandably so because puro siya illustration. Is that why you bought your Kindle? No, I bought my, my Kindle for other things also because mm. so work marami mga graphs, mga accounting right. stuff I na mga. I seen you use your Kindle in a while. Because we haven't been traveling. Ah. And napansin ko I really don't like reading. I like listening because yeah. it stresses my eyes so Me too. much. Me too. Because yeah. there's astigmatism. Parang I get libat. What's libat in English? Uh, Cross-eyed uh, when I'm reading. Dul, yeah. dul. What's that? Dul, duling. 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 Grabe, <laughs> dami <laughs> language, no? Yeah, but that's another innovation. Audible. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Podcasts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, listening to our voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool, but yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It, but, um, what? What's the big but? <laughs> I was just thinking of how I'm just nerding out, like, dependent. No, it's just a different. Topic. Just say it. Just say it. No, I was just looking at the microphone and, like, grabbing your innovation, pero your microphone natin was a 1980s technology and it hasn't changed a lot. And yeah, you are geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> layo. Yeah, it's okay. That's really how the brain works. Sometimes mm-hmm. you're thinking of one thing and then you jump to another and then nawawala ka na sa thoughts mo. Pero napansin ko ngayon, like, I really space out a lot. Like, kanina when we were having dinner, maybe it, it was, I just woke up. That's why. Mm-hmm. But, but parang... Ah, people are gonna make fun of you again. Always sleeping. Di na ako yun na. <laughs> <laughs> Nakatulog ako for like almost... How, how long 30 minutes. 30 maybe. minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's a busy, busy day. It's funny how paminsan you don't expect your day to be busy at all. And then bigla ang, ang daming mga mangyayari. Mm. Mm. And so you were spacing out at dinner, huh? Mm. Do, you, do you notice it when I space out? Yeah, especially before when I didn't space out, like when my mind was still pre mom brain. <laughs> yeah, pre mom brain. I noticed it a lot and it always call you out on it. Like, yeah. hey, hello, hello, hello. Ngayon nga, napansin ko, like sometimes I talk to you and you don't respond. Dude, mom brain is re- R-E-A-L, real. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Sometimes, like, even when I'm, I feel like I'm so alert. Mm. Like, I'm here. I mean, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's play Mahjong. You know what I mean? Like, I'm ready. And then when somebody talks to me, like, uh, what? Huh? What, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> super forgetful, super space out. I don't know if it's because I lack sleep or because I'm always thinking about, like, little things with Scotty. Like, I feel like I'm thinking about my life and his life. Like, I have to make two people survive. You know what I mean? I think that's why I space out, though. I space out when I'm, like, fixing something in my head. Right. Like, oh, I need to do this so that my problem will go away or whatever. You're always like you're always thinking of something else. Yeah. Instead of being in the moment. Yeah. And sometimes I keep I keep trying to remind myself like I have to be in the moment. Like what more can I ask? And why am I always living in the future? Right. I think it's because you you are the type of person who always has to be tinkering with something, researching something, fixing something, doing something. Like mm. Always moving forward. Oh. And so your mind is always calculating, always working, always researching, right? Yeah. And so when you're always researching, you're always thinking, and when you're thinking, even when there's a gap in the like if we're talking and there's a silence, parang yung mind mo babalik dun sa mm. ano, ano yung ginagawa ko mm. Yeah. I think so. Like me. Eka, when you space out, what do you think of? Ah, uh, in the ref, there's strawberries. It's gonna go bad in two days. So, 
uh, kailangan so, yung breakfast ni Scott bukas strawberries. Ah, mag-research ako ng recipe for strawberries. Strawberry oatmeal kaya? May oatmeal ba tayo? Ah, mag-grocery pala ako. Yun, ganun. That's why. But the biggest thing that helped me when it comes to that, when becoming stress-free, is having a to-do list. Mm-hmm. Just by writing it down, I can diretso say, okay, I want to think about it. Mm-hmm. Diba? But you know what? I never used to space out, right? Never. Especially when you were dating. Because you pa. didn't have a lot of things. I to... had so many things to think of. Like a lot. I was never in Cebu. I was like traveling every week. Yeah, pero hindi siya yung things that you have to like meticulously plan or like, oh, nag-expire na ba yung mga pagkain natin sa rest? I, yeah, I ganyan. feel like my responsibilities were definitely less. And parang I could segment my time. Like, okay, work, work lang sa office. And then like, when I'm at home, I'll just do home stuff. And then when I'm just later, I'll just do dating stuff. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> I can't, my words are failing me. But that's what I mean. And then now, it's kind of like, a jambalaya. Like, I'm fried rice. You know what I mean? Like, it's, everything's mixed. <laughs> like, where am I? Where am I? It's but all that, rice That here. is exactly <laughs> why I space out. Especially kung napansin mo, a lot less now than, uh, let's say, for example, when I was starting Light Block. Mm-hmm. Di ba napansin mo na the, and that time, I was always spacing out because I was always trying to get light block running right. and always researching always thinking of what things to improve right. so ganyan siguro like when you I space out when I'm living in the future I think that's why like I always tell you now when I have days when I don't have anything to do mm. and I'm just playing with Scott mm. they always tell you like oh sana all days are like this like I have nothing to do I think it's because that's when my mind is quiet mm. and like I'm just doing one thing and I'm focused at that. I'm just playing yeah. with Scott. That's it. Yeah. So, parang, it's kind of a breath of fresh air for my brain. Mm. Like, uh, I don't have to think about my next deadline. I don't have to think about groceries or like fixing this, fixing that, whatever. But I also feel like the cell phone helps me not concentrate at all. Yeah. Because, not just like my social media and stuff, but, and dami po mapasok na uh, oh, Slater, you have to do this yes. for work. Yes. Um, let's say, for example, I have light block. I have uh, real estate development that is ongoing. And then there's a problem with sabihin natin, my YouTube or whatever. Uh, so, and it's all jumbled at any given right. time. There's a message. Sila. Paminsan pa yung mga iba, there's a message at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the evening. Parang... Uh, there's always something pending in your phone. Right. Oh my God, I hate it. I can, I feel you. I know what that feels like. Yeah, so that is why sometimes parang nasi-stress ka lalo and nasi-space out ka because even if you just read the message, oh, I won't reply. Pero parang it's because there's head. a problem, it's in your head already. It's like, oh, I have to fix this later. Oh. Later, later. Then you're always thinking about it. But you know what I think helps and helped me a lot? Like, I, when it's work, lahat email. And then I'll set a time for work. Uh, when Scotty's sleeping, I will do all my work at this time lang. Then after, when Scotty's awake, pause ka muna work, I'll get back to you later when Scotty's sleeping again. So now I'll do everything Scotty naman. Yeah, but w- while you're with Scotty, can you shut off everything? Yeah, because I put my phone away, I put my laptop away. Wala. Yeah, but I hope, even if I do that... And I know kasi babalik ako mamaya. Mm, even if I do that, I'm... Like for example, I have to reply to an email. Like, even when I do that, sometimes, nasa isip ko is how I'm gonna compose the email. Gano, gano. I know, you do do that. No, you, then yeah. Sometimes you ask me, like, can you can you fix it now so I won't think about it na? Yeah. Diba? Yeah. So, yeah. parang, ah, uh, and dami ko ng mga solutions na sinubukan. Like, I've deleted all the apps on my phone dati. Yeah. I've bought a phone na walang internet connection, which made it really, really hard to get work done naman. Yeah. So I don't know what the proper balance is, especially for us where uh, we post on Instagram. We parang um, mix kasi yung work and play, so yeah. to speak. And sometimes, have you ever done like when you open your phone and biglang uh, 
you want to do something, but then you get sidetracked to Instagram. Yes. Or <laughs> I know what you're and thinking. You're I'm like, telling you. <laughs> 30 minutes later, ano ulit yung gagawin ko dapat? Yeah, yeah. You know why? It's because when you see that red notification, like one message. Oh, then mess with your mind. Yeah, it's like, click me, click me, pick me. <laughs> yeah. Nakakainis. That, I, that is the reason why dati, I used to meditate with an app. Mm-hmm. Then I stopped using an app to because meditate. Because before you meditate, I sp- I, let's say, for example, time. I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Tapos biglang, I've opened my phone and it's been one hour now. Yes, Lau, I really remember that. Because before you'll tell me, okay, Lau, I'm just going to meditate, okay? I'm like, okay, so yes, I'll go, like, I'll do my stuff. Hmm. Pag labas ko, I'm like, tapos ka na? Oh, I haven't started yet. I'm like, what the hell? It's been an hour. <laughs> yep. It's yeah. a trap. Yeah. I really have to find a way to like minimize my cell phone use. Alam mo, there's even a study where we're in para mga athlete in a treadmill nila to, to see their performance. Ganyan, ganyan. And just by putting the a cell phone, cell phone nila sa harap nila, reduce yung performance nila by like a significant amount. Yeah, because even if you're not using your phone, the fact that it's there, you're always thinking like, I wonder who's texting me. I wonder like what this person's doing. Mm. I wonder if there's a message waiting for me. Diba? Parang yeah. your brain is already calculating. Oh, oh. Whereas if it's not I think inside, we're addicted to our phones. So I think so. Like, it's become an extension of our bodies. Yeah, according to Elon Musk, we're already cyborgs. We just don't know it yet. Like we are already our phones. Like, like our phone identity is, is our phone. No, be, parang cyborg na tayo because... Uh, we can search for anything at any given time and know the knowledge of the world at any moment. Pero the only difference that makes it not science fiction is because science, it, science <laughs> is, is because the phone isn't attached to our body or right. our brain yet. Oh yet. my god! But I really feel that way. Na, diba, if you're addicted to, let's say, for example, smoking. The, the easiest way to do it, siguro, is to get the cigarettes out of your immediate vicinity. Mm-hmm. Pero sa atin, it's Quick like... cold turkey, ganon. Yeah. Pero sa atin, it's like, you're trying to get rid of a cell phone addiction. But you still have to use your cell phone. I know. Or, pagising mo, nasa tabi mo. <laughs> right. But you know what? I'm really not as my cell phone as you, I think. Because, yeah, yeah, because you so. use your phone... For everything, like to mm. research, to everything. Like I me, mean, I only research when I have to. Like, okay, I really need to use the strawberries. They're really going to go bad, Chris. You really need to research to a recipe. <laughs> but aside from that, I just kind of wing everything. That's why whenever I cook, it's not my setup. <laughs> no I've no seen. comment. I just realized. That's why. I should ask Scott. <laughs> <laughs> my setup by Scott. Anyway, yeah, it's true. We should lessen our cell phone use. Just try to leave it so from time to time. And you know what? I feel like kasi you are putting yourself under so much pressure to produce something all the time. Like new business, new activity, make this the best. Like sometimes just chill, like relax. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you are allowed to have a break. Pero napansin mo, sometimes I... I leave my cell phone on purpose, especially when we go up to my parents' house. Yeah, and, I know, I know. And but napansin parang, ko yung, yung quality of interactions that I get. It's better. It's a lot better. Even just the feel of a cell phone in your pocket, sometimes, if you're conscious about it, can actually, like, pag may dead air ng konti, derecho, cell phone. Yeah, that's so true. I notice you do that all the time, like when you have dinner. Yeah. And I, I told you already before, like, can you not use your phone when you're having dinner? And so now you're like, okay, okay. And so now when you're having dinner, sometimes like if it's quiet, if it gets quiet, you check your, you hold your phone and then you're like, ep, 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 and then you stop. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I notice it. I just don't say anything. It's okay. I, I'll, from now on, remind me. No, and... nah, I don't want to be a nah. You remind yourself. Okay, sige, sige, sige. Yeah, you put a note in your hand. <laughs> no cell phone. I'll tang tang the Wi Fi in your phone. <laughs> you can't work. <laughs> I can't work at all. Maybe I should do that. Anyway, anyway, if anyone knows anything about how to minimize cell phone use, please send me a message. <laughs> DM at that guy Slater on Instagram. Yeah. And, and that uh, being said, thank you guys so much for listening. I am very, very sleepy. 
<laughs> yeah. It's what time is it? I don't even know. I don't have my cell phone. You want me to get it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my cell phone also. Wow, Maybe that's why we have good <laughs> podcast interactions. Forced to focus. Yeah. But um, it's very early. I would guess it's still 8 p.m. Yeah. But Madam Chris is sleepy. Yeah. yeah. Right, no? We should try making a podcast afternoon. Let's see you. Oh. Paano? Ah, paano? Ganito. Mm. Um, guys, welcome to our podcast. Wah! 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 Oh, Ma'am? yeah. Tok, 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 ma'am. Si ano po? <laughs> si Scott. Umiiyak. <laughs> Walang, no quiet time for us. Only at night. Yeah. Buhay bagong parents. <laughs> But it's okay. I love it. Yeah. Good night, right. guys. Good night, guys. <laughs>